Hello from Tokyo. I am happy to be back. Uh, I went to Korea, so if you're interested in Korean food, make sure you check those videos out. But for today, my first dinner back, I'm feeling sushi. So I want to introduce you to my favorite conveyor belt sushi restaurant here in Japan. It's called Katsumidori, and we're here in Meguro Station. Katsumidori said they are the best conveyor belt sushi restaurant. And I would say in terms of affordability, freshness, and overall quality, this is the spot. So uh, a few notches above the budget sushi restaurants like Kura Sushi and Sushiro. So if you want something a little better, definitely check this place out. If you're new, my name is Max and I make food content here in Japan weekly. So consider subscribing and let's go eat. Katsumidori and there is a bit of a wait, there always is a wait and uh, I don't know, we'll see how long we wait but it's always worth it. Actually, it's quite, quite good. So, made it to the table and all the seafood looks really, really fresh and they have a belt that's going but also you can order on the LCD screen so kind of do a little bit of both. Yeah, can't wait to get started. All right, so this is the LCD screen, and they have it in English, so for all your English speakers, this is a perfect place to come. And yeah, I mean, they have all different types of sushi, and I'm ordering the chutoro. That looks pretty awesome. And also the regular maguro. Actually, you can adjust with wasabi, with without wasabi, and the amount of rice. But I'll go with normal rice and with wasabi, just like how I usually like it. So pumped to eat. Right, look at this. This is the regular maguro. Look at how generous they are with their pieces. Uh, it looks really good. So let's try it out. I mean, like it's like the length of my my hand. All right, here we go. So much better than the budget ones. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that is notches above like Kurazushi and Sushiro. So fresh, so good, so tender. The maguro, really, really good. All right, next. Man, all, of, all the pieces of fish are so generous. Like, just ha look how long the cuts are. And this is a hamachi, one of my favorite pieces of fish. So let's try this out. It is just so buttery, so oily. Such a good fish. Top three in my favorite sushi pieces. Hamachi is an excellent piece of sushi. All right, this is chutoro, so medium fatty tuna. I mean, this is like a piece that you can't go wrong anywhere, but depending on the shop, it could be next level. Let's try it out. Mm. There is ever a piece of sushi that would, I would want at any sushi store. Chutoro is it. Mm. Yeah, it's really, really fatty. Really, really tender. Very tasty. And this shop, all the pieces, yeah, all the pieces of fish are extremely generous. And yeah, that was really, really delicious. <laughs> Check that out. So, the sushi chef just came around, and I think this is like their daily special. I got to choose which urchin to choose, and I asked the chef which one, and he said this one because they have the most meat, so hopefully it's pretty good. And obviously it's super fresh because it's still in the shell, so I'm gonna kinda try to scoop it out of here. Wow, you can just tell how creamy that is. Look at that, it's just like, it's like seriously just cream. I don't know how to take it out. Piece by piece. All right, let's just try with this. Now I'm gonna go straight up no soy sauce. Let's check it out, here we go. Ooh, look at that gooeyness, here we go. Ooh, that is really, really fresh. Mm. so creamy. 
Yeah. That is ocean butter, ocean ice cream. Mm. That is just so creamy, so good. If you haven't had a chance to have fresh sea urchin, get fresh sea urchin. Don't get the frozen ones that are cheap. Just gonna grab a little bit of wasabi there. Here we go. Oh, so wow. That was a lot of wasabi, actually. Kind of getting to my nose. Mm, really, really good, though. Oh, so creamy. Mm. It's like almost you don't eat, even need rice. You don't even need soy sauce. Like, the taste is just so clean. Almost like you don't want to even disrupt. Almost like that sweetness of the sea urchin. This is just a tuna gunka. Look at the chunks of tuna there. Actually, it looks like it has like some chuturo bits in there as well, so that looks really good. All right, I'm gonna get into the soy sauce. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, I think that is chuturo. That actually might be otoro. Wow, melt in your mouth tuna right there. Oh, that's really, really good. This is their anago. One of their special items here. And because of this long cut of anago, I think it's pretty rare the way they prepare it. Just split it right down the middle. Or should I just go, the, I'm gonna go the whole thing. Let's see if I go the whole thing. All right, let's try it out. And they got the sweet sauce on top. It's just breaking apart. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fold it on top. Let's see if this will work. Let's do like a triple decker. Triple decker of Oh my god, this is insane. All right, here we go. One bite. Can we do it? Let's try. Mm. 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 That is the biggest bite of a nago I've ever had in my life. Wow. The perfect mixture of that sweetness and the sauce. The you know, nago is just so soft and tender. Mm. And it just melts in your mouth. That is really, really good. That is one piece that you should definitely get here. Because they specialize in that. So, so good. This is the mint tuna. It looks like they have like finely shaved uh, leeks in there. Some new soy sauce. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Mm. Really, really creamy mint tuna. That also is just melting in your mouth. Mm. A little bit of crunchiness from the, the leeks. Yeah, it makes it nice and fresh. Oh, look at this. This is another thing that I really like when I come here, is their crab miso soup. They have like chunks of crab in there. Look at that, crab legs. Oh, it looks so good. And the broth, the broth is just so amazing. So, let's try it out. It's just game. So it might be really, really hot. Let's try it out. Mm. Yeah, you can really taste like the crab essence in there. The flavor of the crab. Ah, oh, it's so good. Really, really comforting bowl of soup, miso soup. It's perfect to complement the meal of all the fish. There's like tons of flavor in here. Good. Um, miso soup is like almost a must have, always me have sushi. It's just a comforting bowl of soup. Alright, so this is their salmon. Looks like they have some green onions and also some ginger there. So let's check it out. Here we go. Mm. I don't know. Actually, it's not my favorite piece of sushi here. Usually salmon, I like a lot, but I'm not, I'm not that impressed with the salmon here for some reason. Well, this one looks pretty good. So this is actually their special for today, salmon. All right, so let's try this seared salmon real quick. Here we go. Mm. 
That fam is a lot better. How's that smokiness? Because it was seared. Oh, really, really good. It's like a barbecue salmon. Very tasty. It's minced tuna and it has pickled radish inside. Let's try it out. Here we go. Mmm. That was a bite. That is a mouthful. Whoa. The pickled radish really comes through a lot. You almost don't taste the tuna because there's so much pickled radish in it. But really good. The texture is really good. Mm. Mm. So I'm gonna try this straight up egg right here with some daikon and some soy sauce on top. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh. That is almost like juicy. From the, there's a, like the hint of sweetness. You can tell it's made with a little bit of dashi as well. It has a lot of flavor. That is really, really good. All right, this is my stack of plates. And actually, every plate has a different color. And that different color indicates different price. So we'll see how much all of this costs. All right, I'm super satisfied. That was Katsumidori, my favorite. Probably my favorite comparable sushi restaurant here in Japan. And I think it has the best combination of affordability, the freshness of the fish, and just like the taste. I think it's overall the best experience. It's always packed, and so make sure that you'll be willing to wait in a line, but it's all worth it. All the food was amazing, and actually, it's very reasonable. So all that food only costs about $30. So. Uh, definitely check this place out, especially if you want a little notch above the budget conveyor belt sushi restaurants like Sushiro and Kurazushi. So make sure you check this place out. And if you like this video and you want to see more food content in Japan, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.